and now in San Francisco, Westfield Mall. Most of you have been to a Westfield Mall. They're all over the country. The nicest malls that we have all over America are usually Westfield Malls. Well, Westfield Mall in San Francisco, I believe it is closed as of yesterday. Once a crown jewel for retail shopping, tonight the Westfield San Francisco Center is pulling the plug on its famed downtown mall. The stunning decision to walk away comes as the city struggles with homelessness, an open-air drug market, and the perception of crime. Did you catch that at the end? Local news. It's the perception of crime. There's a broken window. It's the perception of crime. Do you know that people in San Francisco and around San Francisco area, it's also Oakland and some of the areas around there, people don't leave bags in their cars anymore because people, if they see a, a bag in the car, they just break the window and they steal what's inside. There are literally people, I've seen this repeatedly and I've read about it, there are people now in San Francisco area who, when they get out of their car, if they have to park on the street, sometimes they put the windows down with nothing else in their car because they, they're going on the assumption that, all right, these, these petty crime people, they don't know how to steal a car, right? They don't know how to hotwire a car, so they'll leave the car, although they might take a dump in it, uh, but, but they'll, that at least they won't break the windows then to see, you know, because they'll see that there's nothing in there. That is the level of what is going on in San Francisco. So I wanted to show you, so as we were putting this together, I was like, you know, it's, it, it, sometimes it feels a little heavy handed when you show this, this endless state of decay in San Francisco. But I wanna show you this video, we're gonna play it. We, we took the audio out because there was a copyright issue because there was a song playing over it, but I, we can throw to it and I'll, I'll just talk over it. Uh, this is a video, there's an account that runs basically, uh, it's a guy who lives in San Francisco area who just walks around and, and shows you. These, these are sprawling parts of the city. So this is not all just in one area. I mean, look at, look at this person. This is what's going on in San Francisco. This is the progressive, what they would say is the progressive utopia, but how much closer to a dystopia. This is, and I am not being heavy handed when we're showing you this, this is all over San Francisco. People that literally look like they potentially are dead and, and certainly soon will be dead. Uh, there, are, there are very few, I mean, and trust me, there's, there's hundreds of those videos and it's, and it's never stopping there, it's never stopping there. But again, these are, why is this happening in places where it's Democrats are in charge, progressives are in charge, right? There is a reason because they get basically everything wrong and then they blame you for it. And then guys like Gavin Newsom uh, get Democrat privilege, right? They get to succeed and further their career and political ambitions and go from mayor to governor. And undoubtedly he wants to become president. 